Prince Harry dealt Prince Charles as low a blow as possible with extraordinary claim. Prince Harry dealt Prince Charles as low a blow as possible with his extraordinary claim that the heir to the throne is trapped in the royal family. According to a royal expert, royal author Duncan Larkham said there is a hell of a lot of bad blood between the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Sussex. Mr. Larkham added that Harry dealt his father as low a blow as he could with his jaw-dropping claim to Oprah Winfrey that Charles is trapped in the monarchy. Harry also made the astonishing comment about his older brother Prince William. Mr. Larkham, who penned a biography on Harry, told the son, when it comes to Prince Charles, Harry was clearly attacking his own father. There is a hell of a lot of bad blood between Charles and Harry and you can kind of understand it. Prince Charles has been waiting to become king since the age of four, and it reaches the point when it is going to be in the not too distant future that his job will finally start. And he's got his very popular, very high profile son trying to sweep the mat from under his feet from saying his father and Prince William are trapped. So for Harry to throw insults at his brother not wanting to be king is one thing, but to say it about your father who has waited 70 years to do the job, that's about as low a blow as Harry could have dealt his dad. Harry and Meghan Markle, who quit royal duties last year, made a set of shocking claims about the royal family during their bombshell TV interview which aired in March. The Queen's grandson, who remains sixth in line to the throne, laid bare his rifts with his father and brother as he poured his heart out to win free. The U.S. talk show host asked him, Would you have stepped back if it wasn't for Meghan? Harry replied, No, I wouldn't have been able to. I myself was trapped as well. I didn't see a way out. I was trapped but I didn't know I was trapped. He added of Charles and William, My father and my brother. They are trapped. They don't get to leave and I have huge compassion for that. The Sussexes quit as working royals in March 2020, a move dubbed Megxit. The Queen's grandson and the former actress, who are expecting their second child, are now living in a mansion in California with their two-year-old son Archie. They have signed lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify as they launch new careers across the pond. Harry returned to Britain last month for the first time since Megxit for Prince Philip's funeral.